Hey stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. I'm super excited to craft with you today. We are gonna make a beautiful Christmas card using the Perched in the Tree stamp set and the dies. And so check out this beautiful card and look how beautiful the bird is. I'm super excited to show you exactly how I colored him. I used my Stampin' Blends and I also colored a couple other birds that turned out just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you exactly how I colored him so that if you have this bundle, you too can color your bird and make one of these cards. I'm also gonna use some embossing paste now I have a beginner series video where we used embossing paste. So I think those of you that have watched that video, you can jump right in and I'm gonna show you how to add some shimmer to your tree. Yeah, so we've got lots of fun stuff that are gonna happen in this video today. So I'm really excited to show you. So the stamp set that we're gonna use is this perched in a tree. And you're probably going, oh, look at that beautiful bird. Is that how it comes? No, I'm going to show you how to color it like that. And the bird that I was showing you earlier was this one. He is so pretty. So I wasn't sure what kind of bird it is. So for those of you that are bird watchers, I have a feeling many of you will be able to tell me. However, I googled cute little fat bird, <laughs> or fat fluffy bird. And so I got a lot of different pictures and I thought, okay, well, I'm just gonna play with some different Stampin' Blends and see what I come up with. So I'm excited to show you today's um, card. And let me just bring this card in and then I'll show you the dies that go with this bundle. So he is absolutely beautiful. Let heaven and nature sing. So just a really lovely Christmas card. Um, and you know, I didn't put any gems or jewels, but you certainly can. Um, you can definitely um, add some sparkle to this if you want. However, I just was excited about the sparkle from the, um, the embossing paste. So I'm going to show you how I did that today. And like I mentioned earlier, we're going to use the Perched in a Tree stamp set and we're going to use the Aspen Tree dies. Now these dies are available in the month of August of 2022 as a celebration item. So yeah, so let me tell you what that means. That means if you make a purchase, um, it's a level two item. So if you make a purchase of $100 before shipping and tax, then you could select these Aspen Tree dies as a gift. That's right, so Stampin' Up! has um, offered them as a celebration gift. So that would be pretty cool. The stamp says $23 and you could get the dies for free. So I love that. Um, and if not, no worries. You could certainly purchase the bundle as well. So if you wanted to do it that way and pick out a different celebration item. So here's the dies. I love how this um, die cuts out and I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like here in a minute. And um, this die cuts your, tree, uh, your branch here. Yep, and then this of course is for your bird. So just a really pretty set of dies. Now, if you already have these dies and you're like, oh, I've already got this and I'm excited to see what you create with it. However, I need some more ideas. Well, then I'm going to recommend that you grab your mini catalog and you're going to want to turn, I think it's page 39, but I could be wrong. Oh, 46. I was wrong. So you're going to grab uh, page 46 and you can see some of the other designs that Stampin' Up! has shared. Um, but one of the things that I love about the Stampin' Up! catalogs is if you turn to the very back, they actually have the bundles listed again and they have some different designs. So I love that because now you're going to get another sample that's different than the samples on the previous page. So that's pretty cool. So make sure you look at that for some ideas and for some inspiration. All right, so let's go ahead and let's dive right in and let's get coloring our bird. So fun, so, so much fun. Okay, so I have my scrap paper here and I also have my Stamparatus. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Stamparatus and open that up and just add my paper in here. Now, you know, I'm actually gonna die cut this guy out, so it doesn't have to be perfect, although I don't need him right in the middle of the paper, I guess. So let's just see, probably right about there is good. So since I'm using Stampin' Blends today, you're gonna want Memento Black 
ink. And so I'll go ahead and take this off and so that way you can see. So I have him mounted on my Stamparatus and um, because it was out of frame I just decided to take it off and ink it up for you. So I'm using Memento Black ink. So let's put it back in here. That's why I love these little these little hinges. They're fantastic. So we're going to give it a good push and oh what a beautiful image. Yeah that's pretty fantastic. I am loving that. Now I'm going to take this hinge off because I've actually mounted um, the other piece which is the branch and I'm going to put that on there and that is not going to be a good spot so let's flip our paper. I just thought I would get all the stamping out of the way and then we would move straight into the coloring portion. So here's for my branch and actually let's do this twice. So I'm going to stamp it in memento but what I ended up doing actually is I ended up stamping it in the soft suede. So I'm going to show you both versions and then you can decide which one you want to put on your card. Okay, so I'm going to show you both, but then you can decide. So I'm just going to wipe this down. I don't have my chamois available right here. So I'm just going to wipe that down and just make sure it's good and clean. And then we'll just stamp another tree and this one is going to be right next to it in soft suede. So let's just ink this guy up really good and we'll stamp it straight down, straight up and it's a beautiful image. Um, so that is the color that I used for my branch. Okay, so let me go ahead and set this aside because we're going to move into some coloring. All right, to color my bird today, I have, let me show you, let me bring them all over. I have them kind of off to the side. So here, let me tell you which colors I have. Actually, I kind of like them on an angle so they're out of my way. I have soft suede here, that's for my branch. This one is light night of navy. And then I have the two light and dark for bal uh, balmy blue, pool party, this is the color lifter and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that. And then I have light and dark pumpkin pie and this one is light papaya. So that is how, that is how I colored this bird. So let me show you. So first off I'm going to start with the light night of navy. Alright, so um, you know if you, when you color with the blends it can bleed. So if you are using the regular 80 pound cardstock, then you're going to want to protect your space. However, I like to use the thick and so I'm not too worried about that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just get coloring. So I've got the light night of navy and what my plan is, is just to kind of work around the already dark areas in the wing. And so I'm just adding a little bit of the dark night of navy and honestly and I'm kind of like I'm thinking wispy strokes if you will. Nothing crazy and nothing too big but just really lightly making my way around his wing on the outline. So I think that's the word I'm looking for is just kind of on the outline and I am going to come around his head because I do want some dark area up there. I don't want a lot, but I do want a little bit. And for these little dots, you know, for the darker little hairs on his head there, or feathers, whatever they are, um, I do want it a little bit darker there as well. Now, after doing a couple of these, I realized I do kind of like it kind of coming down on his wing. And, you know, again, I have colored several of these, so I was able to figure out what I liked best. So you're going to want to do the same thing. It'll take you two or three times and then you'll finally go, okay, I've got it. So this one is dark balmy blue. I don't want a lot of dark balmy blue, but I do want a little bit. And I'm going to add that just kind of right underneath the light night of navy. So that's just going to give me a little bit more um, color of, of a different shade. This one is light balmy blue. So here's the one that I'm going to kind of do my circular motion and I'm going to start to blend some of the color. So as you can see here, I'm going to just kind of work over those little spots and try to get that to blend. 
kind of around this way, all right, and kind of in there. And then I'm gonna kind of come down his wing, and it's these areas that I have outlined his wing that I just want to soften. And I just wanna add a little bit, you know, just soften it a little bit so it's not quite as obvious that I've, you know, kind of highlighted those areas. So I think that looks really pretty. I'm excited so far. So next I've got, I've got Dark Pool Party. So we have Dark Pool Party, that looks awesome. All right, so Dark Pool Party is gonna kind of be like right up in here. And who would have thought that when you add a Dark Pool Party that that would like even look good up next to Balmy Blue? But it really does because, you know, birds are just, they've got such beautiful color that um, it really does work. So this is the light pool party and I just kind of moved it up so that it would blend into that balmy blue. And now I'm gonna work, I'm just gonna do a few little, you know, just a little circles. And then I'm gonna kind of come down here and I'm gonna stop with the balmy blue right there. And the reason is because then I'm gonna go over to my color lifter and my color lifter, remember, that's going to help lift the color. So if you have a boo-boo or, you know, you get outside the lines, you can kind of lift that color. But for this, I want to fade this out because I want the bottom of his chest to kind of appear white, right? So as you can see, it's sort of as it dries, it fades it out a little bit. And now, you know, it all looks, you know, kind of like that's the bottom of him. So I think that's perfect. So I'm gonna leave that alone. And now I'm gonna move on to dark pumpkin pie. And so dark pumpkin pie is going to kind of start, you know, his, uh, his breast area. And I'm just gonna kind of come down. I don't want too much dark. It can get dark pretty quickly. So I'm just going to add, you know, just a little bit around the outline of him. And I think that'll work perfectly. And then we're gonna go to light pumpkin pie. I absolutely love coloring with my Stampin' Blends. And if you have Stampin' Blends, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that you pull them out and that you color with them often. I love my Stampin' Blends and could use them all of the time. I just think they are so fun to work with. Um, and you know, you have to play, don't be afraid to kind of get in there and you know, just play with different colors, just like adding balmy blue with pool party, right? So this is light papaya. And I find sometimes the light colors will lighten some of the darker colors even. So just kind of working my way kind of up and sort of around his, um, his breast area. And so I do kind of like to kind of go back up a little bit. And I find that um, it just, it sort of does lighten it a little bit. And you know, it, it'll dry. Some of my markers are actually newer than others, so they might be a little bit more juicy. Um, but I'm gonna go back to my color lifter and I'm gonna just, in a sense, blend this in here a little bit. So we're just gonna blend some of that. It might look a little bit dark at first, but that's only because it's wet. And so it just needs to kind of dry. So then I'm gonna go back over to my soft suede and I think I'm gonna grab the light one and I'm just gonna color his little feet. And who we on camera, that is difficult. My little eyes are like going whoa. Um, and you know, I don't know if his beak needs to be papaya or a color or not, but let's just go ahead and do it. Hmm, you can't really see that, but I suppose I could go darker, but I actually, I think I'm, less is more, and I think I'm gonna be done with that. So let's go back to soft papaya, or soft suede. <laughs> and this was also stamped with soft suede ink. Now I'm gonna show you kind of the difference, but let's go ahead and I'm just gonna add a bit of color to the branch. So nothing too crazy, just a little bit of the soft suede to the branch. Then I'm gonna take the dark soft suede and what I'm gonna do is just kind of come in here and in a sense sort of play on the little, you know, the little wispy pieces or the, you know, the design in the branch that makes it stand out and makes it unique, right, to the branch. And so I'm gonna also kind of come down the ends here 
and you just have to sort of make sure that you kind of keep it in those wispy strokes otherwise you can kind of get thick down there so I really did like it with some white space in there um, but if you don't well then color it all in it's perfectly fine and you can also take that light soft suede marker again and go back over it soften it all up if you would like and then once you color your bird and once you color your branch that's when you're going to pull in your aspen tree dies and you are going to die cut these beauties out so there's your branch like we had talked about earlier and that's for my bird and so i'm not going to die cut them for you today um, but i do have my cut and emboss over here but i've also i've already die cut a couple to show you and i also did that black and white one like i mentioned earlier so let's go ahead and push our blends out of the way. Now, there will be a post on brandyscards.com and I will have a tutorial for you to download. So you can download that tutorial, add that to your idea and inspiration book. Of course, I will have a list of all of these Stampin' Blends. There's not that many, a lot of blues, you know, some papaya and some pumpkin pie as well. Um, so I will definitely have that available for you. Um, and then I also have um, our host code card is really, I think it's simple, but it's elegant and I'm super excited for you to receive it. And so that tutorial will also be there. And um, I'm going to, well, maybe there'll be another video coming as well on one of these birds. So really excited about that. Um, okay. So let me show you how I put this card together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and out of the aspen tree dies and you're going to take your basic white cardstock put this down and you're going to run that through your cut and emboss machine and that's what you're going to get so that's what you're going to get when you do that and i'm going to set all of these aside because i will definitely use that bird later in that branch so pretty um, so we're going to set that aside and pretend that we ran that through and then we need some scrap paper so let me grab some scrap paper I also need to grab my shimmer embossing paste. So that's my shimmery white. Yeah, super cool. So I've got my shimmery white and I have a palette tool. You're also going to need some soapy water. Yeah, or maybe a um, paper towel that's wet because you're going to want to clean this off. You don't want this to dry on your palette tool. So I'm just going to add some snow to my branches. Yeah, what do you think about that? So, you know, you could do Wink of Stella, of course, um, but I thought it would be really pretty just to kind of give my branches some glisten. And so I'm just kind of really carefully adding some of my embossing paste around the edges. Now, I am not, um, I'm not planning on doing it here on the outside. You certainly can. But um, that's not what I'm planning for this card today. I'm just going to focus on those trees. So let's close this back up. I do have a, um, I do have a paper towel over here. So I'm just going to take my paper towel and get that good and clean. Very important. Very, very important. Now you'll find this will actually dry pretty quick. And so I'm just going to kind of give that a little twirl in there to blend that in a little bit. Perfect. So can you see that pretty shimmer and sparkle? Yay! I hope so. It's so lovely and it will be beautiful on the front of that card. So I'm just going to set that aside so that way it will dry. It doesn't take long to dry at all. And then what I'm going to do is I have another piece of scrap over here that I'm going to bring in and we are going to blend. So you're going to need another piece of basic white and all of those sizes and dimensions will be on brandyscards.com and you're gonna need a balmy blue. Now, if you want to, you could certainly punch out a cloud and you could make clouds to go behind your trees, right? So you could certainly do that just by kind of, you know, moving your cloud around and doing a little bit of blending on top of that and you could add some clouds. Now, what I found is as beautiful as that is, that it almost behind the trees, I felt like you just didn't see it as well as I would have liked. 
So I decided, okay, abort. Um, but if you like it and you want to do that, certainly go for it, absolutely. But the cards that I did with this, I just took my blending brush. Now you could, the heaviest part I kind of ended up doing on the inside and blending it lighter towards the outside. But, um, you know, honestly, you could do it however you would like. There is no right or wrong way to do this at all. And um, it's really just kind of about getting some of that color behind the trees, you know, because it's kind of one of those cold, wintry days and he's hanging out in the tree looking all beautiful. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so let's check this out. So here is our, ooh, that's pretty. That's quite pretty. So what if we then take, we've got some little spots. So in this stamp set, there's these little spots. And so what if we pretend those are kind of the snowy weather? So you could certainly stamp it straight on, um, but you're gonna also get a brighter spot. So I kind of always recommend maybe starting off, you know, starting off a little bit lighter, see what you think. Um, you know, some dark ones are probably okay too, um, but I just, you know, sometimes you, you can't go back. So it's like, okay, wait a second. Um, so then you're gonna probably have to take your trees and, ooh, look at that. So it's kind of like snow falling, isn't it? And so that's kind of what I'm trying to create is just kind of a wintry day while he's up in the tree and the snow is falling all around him. So I love that so much. Okay, so let's put our card together and um, I think then we'll be done with this card today. So pretty, so, so pretty. So this was actually the one that I created for you that I put the embossing paste on and gosh, that's almost dry already. That's pretty cool. It just, it didn't take long at all to dry. So the card base for this is going to be basic white as well. And then we are going to glue this piece, some liquid adhesive, and I'm gonna glue it straight to the top of my card base. So that's um, you know pretty easy to do. So we're gonna glue that right to the top of the card base. And then this piece is going to be popped up with Stampin' Dimensionals, which are our foam adhesive dots. And I am actually, do you see that little blue spot? Oh, that could make my project, that could make me cranky. So we got that cleaned up. Hmm. Have you ever done that? And you're like, oh my goodness, how did I get that on there? And a lot of times it's on your fingers, <laughs> but that time it was on my, on my table there. So I'm just adding some Stampin' Dimensionals around um, my tree here. And then what you can do is you can actually do the foam adhesive strips, which are long, or you could just cut some of your dimensionals in half with scissors, um, with your snips, and you can just kind of randomly stick those in a few places. And that's honestly just to give support to some of these, um, the inside of the tree here, because you don't want it saggy. So just to kind of give it a little bit of support. And so then we'll take these backings off, which it looks like I've already done on those. And let's flip this over and we'll add that right to the front of our card. Oh gosh, that's so pretty, right? So here, let's check this out. So remember I told you earlier that you could certainly do this in black and then add your bird. Um, so that's pretty, but I, I don't know, but I also liked the brown. I don't know, what should I do? I think I'm gonna go with the brown. Yeah, I think the brown is probably my favorite, but I honestly like them both quite a lot. So I'm just gonna add some liquid adhesive right behind my branch, and I'm probably going to kind of put it off on an angle. Now, yes, I do realize that it's kind of sticking off on the edge there, and that's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna use my paper snips, and I will just kind of cut that. So, you know, I might just pull it up and actually just kind of cut that. And um, then I'll stick it. I could see exactly where my glue was. And because that embossing paste might be a little bit wet, it might take just a couple more minutes to dry than than normal. So just be aware of that. If your embossing paste is a little damp, then yeah, you might have to just let it dry a little bit longer. 
And now the bird you could certainly pop up if you wanted to. Um, I think the first one I did I left flat. Um, this one we could certainly pop it up. Now we would just have to be mindful of kind of where we can put our dimensionals. I kind of want his little feet kind of on the branch, like he's hanging out on the branch. So let's see. Let's kind of see if that's good enough. What do you guys think here? Yeah. So I think that's probably good. And he's kind of sitting there, hanging out on the branch. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. I am loving this. Okay. So let me show you how I did my sentiment. So I stamped the sentiment in Starry Sky and I also stamped it in Night of Navy. I honestly thought the Night of Navy or the Starry the Night of Navy was going to be my favorite. That's right. Um, and it just was a little bit dark. Um, but then I thought, okay, well, the starry sky really had kind of a cool blue to it. So what I did is I used my paper snips and I cut out the sing so that it was nice and pretty, kind of elegant. And then I also used my paper snips and just kind of snipped around this area as well. And I decided, okay, I could have left it together, but I thought that um, it was just quite beautiful offset. So I decided to kind of go with the offset look um, and kind of break those apart. Now they're little, you know, so you just got to be a little mindful of adding your glue to it and that sort of thing. But I thought that was so pretty. And again, it might take a minute to kind of get that to stay. But that's okay. That's okay. We have nowhere to go. So this is, uh, this is so much fun. I would love to see the cards that you create with this beautiful bundle. It's, um, for those of you who've watched my channel, you know how much I love birds. I can't say that I know all of my birds. I did, okay, so let me just say. I did do a video with the Oceanfront stamp set and one of the others, and I think the entire time I told you it was a pelican but it was a seagull, right? And, or maybe vice versa. Maybe I said it was a seagull and it was a pelican. And oh my gosh, it was just like, I totally had this brain thing going on. And then my husband was trying to fix my pictures and he typed it as a penguin. And I'm like, oh, a penguin, no. <laughs> we went from, you know, seagull to pelican to penguin. It was so bad. So. I might not know all the names of my birds, but I love to color them and I love to watch them and my son loves to take pictures of them. <laughs> so anyway, let me go ahead and glue this thing down. I just had to share that with you because believe it or not, I have little chuckles at myself when I make those silly mistakes and it's like, oh rats, people think I am a wackadoodle, but that's okay. I have fun, that's for sure. So here we go. So this is our beautiful perched in a tree um, you know, Christmas card. And I just think it's absolutely lovely. And remember you could, um, you know, you could blend and, you know, make your envelope flap. This beautiful balmy blue is blended if you wanted to. So it's just really beautiful and you could add the spots on that envelope. So I think that would be stunning. Absolutely stunning. So again, let me show you the other two birds just so you can kind of see those. So I thought one was just beautiful in the, um, with, you know, kind of the soft suede and some of the oranges and yellows, and then more of kind of a wren. So he's kind of more of the browns. So I'm excited. I hope that you enjoyed my card today. I hope that you loved, um, you know, loved watching me color the bird. And, and remember, you can color any of our images with your Stampin' Blends. Um, it just so happens that I, I grabbed the perched in a tree, the bird today. Um, but pull out those blends and have fun with them and use them. That's just, that's the beauty of crafting. Nobody knows what it's supposed to look like. So I hope that I've inspired you and you're like, okay, Brandy, I'm going to go out this weekend and then grab my Stampin' Blends. Um, so before I go, if you liked my project, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'd be grateful if you haven't done that already. Click that like button like and subscribe and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator please let me know i'd love to send you a set of catalogs we have our holiday mini catalog going on right now 
and then of course our annual catalog and they are beautiful publications. Anybody watching this video will tell you they're fantastic. They're full of ideas, lots of inspiration. So um, those catalogs are pretty fantastic. So go to brandyscards.com slash contact. Send me an email. Make sure you email me your mailing address. Um, that's one little tidbit a lot of folks forget and I'm like, okay, love to send you a catalog, but you got to send me your, your uh, mailing address as well so I can do that. If you're one of my current customers, thank you. I'm so grateful for you and love talking to you. Appreciate your emails. Love your cards that you send me. So thank you so much for that. And um, well, I think that's it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed my project and don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. Okay, everybody, happy stamping. Bye now.